By the 4th century, the Roman Empire was under attack on many fronts by barbarian tribes, and by 410 AD, the last remaining soldiers had left Britain to defend Rome. The province of Britannia was no longer a part of the Roman Empire, but in the place of the Romans came new invaders, the Anglo-Saxons. After repeated raids and fierce battles, these new immigrants had seized control of most of England and Scotland by the 7th century. The Anglo-Saxon is a loose term for a group of many large tribes, which included the Angles, Saxons, Jutes and others from across the North Sea. The new invaders were farmers, not town dwellers, and they ignored the opportunity to inhabit deserted Roman buildings, preferring instead to build their homes in their own style. The place name Orkborough originates in the Anglo-Saxon era and it's derived from the Old English name Aluka and the Old English term Biru, meaning a grove of trees. As in Roman times, Orkborough grew in importance as an observation point thanks to its commanding views over the rivers Ouse and Trent where they meet with the Humber. The Anglo-Saxons built the tower of this church on Roman foundations which are still in place today and it's highly likely that they used this tower as a lookout post. This Saxon cross on the south side of the church has some strange curved markings. That's because the cross is made from millstone grit and the local Anglo-Saxons used it to sharpen and polish things like swords and arrowheads. It was also used as a marker for archery practice, with the actual target being set about 250 yards away in a farmyard. Over the years, the Anglo-Saxons divided Britain into a number of distinct kingdoms. Christianity spread across the country, and monasteries became the centres of learning and art. But soon, the Anglo-Saxons themselves were to be the subject of attack and invasion, by a marauding and terrifying foreign force. The Vikings had arrived. It's well documented that the Viking raiders used the Humber to gain access to important inland sites. The Viking boats were state-of-the-art for their time, capable of crossing oceans swiftly and in relative safety. The Viking warriors were fearsome, merciless opponents, showing little regard for the sanctity of human life as they plundered and murdered their way through communities and monasteries. But the Anglo-Saxons, led by King Alfred of Wessex, gradually took the fight back to the Vikings and managed to halt the invaders' advance. In England, south of the Humber, Alfred's son, Edward the Elder, gradually brought the country back under his control and the Danes and the Anglo-Saxons maintained an uneasy peace. The Anglo-Saxons were to rule England until the Norman Conquest and the famous Battle of Hastings in 1066, in which King Harold was struck by an arrow in his eye, brought down from his horse and trampled to death by his enemies. William the Conqueror was subsequently crowned as the first Norman King of England.